Hey guys, so this is going to be a tutorial slash demo of um, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. As you can see, I'm just showing you guys my marks that are on my face. I already have on my eyebrows and, oh, eyebrows. And um, I'm going to tell you guys the pros and the cons of this product. So for the pros, it gives you a very, very matte finish. I love that it gives me a matte finish and also I feel like it controls my oils. I don't get oily at all to like maybe six to seven hours while using this product. Um, also, I like that this product also blends really well with a brush but it looks so much more natural when you use your fingers. If I want to have like a dolled up look, I usually use, um, you know, this brush that I'm using, the e.l.f. The, uh, the e.l.f. small stippled brush um, and I feel like it gives me gives me more coverage, but when I use my fingers, it it still gives me more coverage, but it looks a lot more natural on the skin. Like it looks like it's my skin when I use my fingers. Um, I also like that this product does not break me out at all. Usually, when I use liquid foundation, I break out a lot. Like I get tons of like whiteheads all over my face, and also when I use powder foundation, I don't break out, but I don't like that powdery powderly look on my face. Um, also, I like that this product has no type of scent. It's so annoying when you try to use a product that has like, you know, a fragrance and it looks like it smells really weird and like it makes me feel really nauseous when I like put it on my face. So I like that this doesn't have any type of scent. And lastly, I like that this lasts a very long time. As you guys saw in the beginning, I showed that the product was like you know pretty much hitting pan and that's like after four months of me using this product I've been using this foundation for about three to four years like this product is a very old product and um, I think this is like my third or fourth you know little container and it lasts a pretty long time so I like that so as for cons this product transfers a bit like I would suggest making sure you um, set your face with a translucent powder. I've been using the Black Opal Translucent Oil Blocking Powder, and I love that product. Um, it also controls your oil as well. Um, I also, for the, another con, I also saw that um, this product creates little balls on your face. Um, it's really weird because when you use a lot of product, it gives off a really weird, like, bally type of look on your face like the product like forms into balls on your face and it doesn't look really good so I would suggest making sure you really work the product into your skin like I was doing before and um, that would make sure that you don't get any of those type of balls on your face because that was like the problem that I had when I first had the product it was like balling up all over my face and I was like Ugh, this doesn't look good so um, yeah that's uh, that's all for like the pros and the cons so um, now I'm just showing you guys, you know, me putting on my blush. I love this LA blush, um, and it looks really cute on my skin. And that's my NYX. I love this um, lip cream. It looks super cute. And I'm just going for a, you know, dot up look right now. I'm about to go shopping with my sister, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put on, you know, some cute makeup and then be out the door. So I just want to quickly show you guys this and give you a quick review about this product. I hope you guys like this. Make sure you um, comment down below, like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!